There we go. Ah. You probably couldn't hear us. Yeah, that's we, fine. You'll you'll you'll, you'll we, we catch on. Uh, the soggy senorita. Um, but yeah, you called it the drowned woman. I did. Yeah, I would just, I I short if it's a longer title, I shorten stuff in the files. Yeah, especially my notes, like my personal notes. They're stupid names. I put stupid names. I throw it back in GarageBand and then I re-download it so that it clears the metadata. That's good. You yeah. do that. Yeah. But I hope everyone's having a pleasant Tuesday. <sighs> it's Tuesday. It's uh, we're getting very close to December, y'all. It is. I'm like three weeks away from my winter va- winter vacation. Got a compliment on your shirt there. Oh what? The Star Wars. Thank you. Um, we need to get our Battle of the Believability brackets out soon we should yeah, probably, we, we should actually maybe we'll do that tonight we need to we need to take some time and uh pit pit the middle episodes against each other yeah mm. maybe not tonight <laughs> no i don't think we got time tonight maybe but... not tonight but we'll, we'll uh we'll come up with a cool bracket i want to we'll listen out there. to them i guess if you listen to all of them they're not that long it's like 12 minutes so each. yeah it's like 10 minutes are you gonna scream scream oh my god are you gonna scream during vacation charlie am i gonna stream during vacation uh like uh I think they mean Twitch. Yeah, I think that's what they mean. Um, I don't know. I had a conversation I have to have with Tyler probably. It's hard because during the school year, it's so hard to. I don't have time to stream, but during like breaks and stuff, I do. I don't feel like it's good consistency. But I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I wouldn't start like a, a series like the Alan Wake thing. I right, wouldn't start I do, that. Like One offs or something. Yeah, but yeah, you could do something like that. Maybe maybe we'll finally find a, a way to get Madden to work. What? Madden. Madden. Oh, Madden? Madden. Madden. You have to buy a new copy. We can probably buy an older version pretty cheap. We could from the exchange probably, which just is a t- local thing. Just tell me, is it local only? Yeah. Okay. It's Ohio. It's a buy-sell trade. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. Um, But anyway. I worked there for like in a month. Yeah, you did. You <laughs> did. You worked there. I got fired real quick. They're uh, like, no, this guy ain't cutting it. Yeah. Did you not like properly spray the windows? Um, One time I messed up in alphabetical order. And it was, the lady was really mean about it. And then another time I misquoted a client and that's what got me fired. Mm. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. I'll believe Madden when I see it. I'll yeah. i about it. Yeah. So we have a listener submission. We had a intro story by a fella by the name of Juan. And then yeah. we had the main episode of Alyssa's. Do you want to go in order? Do you want to start with Wands and then yeah, and move over Wands. to Alyssa? Let's do Wands because it's, it's a quick discussion. Alyssa was very close to being a Sophia, but she let us use the first name. So. Oh. So, recap of Wands' story. Uh, he's an EMT. Yeah. And he there's a lot of death that was happening. A lot of people were experiencing a lot of death. Around him. Around him. People were dying around him. Yeah. He was like, good luck, Chuck, but death, not not getting married. If you've seen that, 2007, Dan Cook. Good luck, Chuck. Jess Galba. I have not. Anyway, um, and so he has this weird experience where the elevator makes a creaking, creepy sound, opens up, nobody called it, feels like it's strange. Then he goes up there, goes in the patient's room, is coming out, is in the hallway, and then hears a voice call out. Ooh. And uh, and that's his story. It was the intro. It was the popcorn. It was the, yeah. it was the Pixar quiet five minute um yeah. thing where like the umbrellas and we're in the street dancing they're not always quiet um well there's normally not dialogue though right like there'll be sound effects That's... there'll be music there'll be like people going huh, huh? Mm-hmm. yeah but there's normally not like hey what's up right they don't usually hire an actor to they do probably that. Can't, can't afford it disney's really struggling <laughs> um but uh everybody in the chat there what was your what were your thoughts on Juan's story do you think, what do you think was calling out to him? All hospitals I still, are haunted. Yeah. It seems like, they, it, I feel like a hospital would be more likely to be haunted than even a cemetery. That's yeah. actually a good question for Ben to put out there on Monday. What's right. What do you think is more, traditionally, generally, what do you think is more generally haunted, a cemetery or a hospital? You're not watching Ben, but that's a really good Monday question. What, what, do, you, what do you think called out his name? I, I know we talked about the episode, but I don't know. It's weird because then he asked that the other nurse, like or whoever, and was yeah. like, "Hey, who's in the hallway?" And the nurse is like, "Oh, it's being renovated." But it's still like, didn't you just come from there with your patient? <laughs> it's like they didn't even, they were so tired and busy and stressed by the they elevator. Just put them somewhere. <laughs> they didn't even notice that there was like a closet that wasn't renovated. There was no bed. They just like it was like a, a wheelbarrow, just like <laughs> see ya. 
Yeah, and her, wouldn't want to be her, that patient's husband had just died that day. Yeah, or something like that. There was a lot of death around. I've me. done the thing where I've called an elevator, hit the floor, and then had to get off because I forgot something. So maybe that. That's definitely possible. That's not as scary. It's not as ominous, but it's very human nature. I don't know if I've done that. Energy hospitals, actual spirits or ghosts, graveyards. Yeah. Um. I. What do you? Guys I don't know think what the voice. Is. Yeah, like that's what bothers me the most. Like, is it like? Just a ghost of someone at the hospital? How do they know his name? Or did he imagine it? Did he imagine it? That's a question. I, he probably has a terrible sleep schedule. Probably, being EMT. Yeah. So maybe, um, I don't know. There was, it, it, uh, more context would be nice, but it is yeah. It is what it is. Um, I always love those. The smaller encounters have like a different vibe to them. Um, Sounds like you, Tyler. It's true. Um, sometimes I like when when there's a lot of context, it makes it a lot easier to kind of come up with a concrete opinion. But when there's more vague, sometimes I like that too because it really opens up the discussion. That's true. But also there's really good discussion with more details. Let, let's move on to Alyssa's story. Terry, what's up? Are there hey. any? Are there any? You, you made it this time. Are there any other final thoughts on one story? I don't want to. I want to give it at least that's uh, fair. a few minutes. Uh, does anybody have any other final opinions on one, their story, what the voice could have been? The elevator, I feel yeah. like, is pretty. Yeah, I, I I like Logan's idea on what that what that could possibly be. And I'll, while you're talking and thinking, I'll drink this water by, oh, by Mio. Then I am talking and drinking. Okay, well. I guess I think that's enough for final thoughts. I don't know. Um, there we go. I didn't get to listen to the full episode. This was the beginning of the episode. Yeah, this is the very start. This so. was the toppity top. So if you didn't hear this, you you waited like two minutes for our banter, which is okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm just <laughs> all right. Here. Listen, I haven't listened to it since I put it out, which was. The other night. I actually haven't listened to it. I think the last time I listened to it was when the words were coming out of our mouth while we were recording. Oh, really? I, I told did, you I didn't. I, listen. You're right. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, I did some fun effects. Um, the... It's a soft drink. <laughs> it's a pop. It's a pop. Then you get to the discussion. Well, I had. I think we had some really good theories in the discussion. Tyler had a really good one. Um, but let's talk about the first experience Alyssa had, which was with the cat. Okay, so the main story was brought to us by Alyssa, um, which is in the umbrella of the the drenched soggy senorita um so a recap we'll go so she had three encounters we'll go through them one two three recap first encounter uh she was up in a room reading getting into a book yeah left to right probably flipping pages probably what what she said is a thick book those books aren't thick yeah they are uh they're super thick what i will send you a picture tonight they're thick uh they're it felt more like like i don't know like i don't know they're big like the last harry potter no she was gonna use that as a weapon yeah no the breaking dawn was a large book okay uh send me a picture and then i I will will, i will will. we'll get back post it on our instagram story i'll take it you better take it back Okay, if, if it's a thick book, it's a thick two C's, book. then I will take it back. It's got six C's. So she was reading, and then she heard scratching. She goes downstairs, and it's her cat, and she's like, okay, I'll let you out. Let's the cat out, goes back upstairs. Here's scratching again, goes back down. The cat's back inside. She's like, whoa, this is weird. This is creepy. Let's the cat out, firmly shuts the door, goes firmly, back upstairs, firmly, firmly grasp the, it. Yes. Um, goes back upstairs, gets into the book. I mean, deep in. Do you reread sentences you really enjoy? Not on purpose. I reread the shit out of sentences that I really enjoy. I'll be on the same sentence for literally 60 seconds if I really like it. Um, but anyway, so she's reading. Here's scratching. And she's like, what is going on? Goes downstairs, sees the cat inside again. What is happening? Throws, probably picks the cat up, chucks it outside, <laughs> locks the door, deadbolts the door, goes back upstairs. And is like, I just want to read my damn Twilight book. Really, the the Order of the Phoenix is the thickest. It's a yeah, that one's big. There's a there's admittedly a lot of filler in that. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. And Daniel Radcliffe was drunk the entire time in the movie. In the yeah. movie, um, yeah, he's having a fun time. So then now, 
she's getting into the book and she hears see windows is something I was thinking as well. Um, so she hears footsteps coming up the stairs. So these footsteps are coming up and she arms herself with her, her, her novel, book, which I thought was a weird weapon choice. It must not be in novella if it's that thing. Um, well, maybe there wasn't that much in her bedroom. Well, I was expecting her to say, like, so I grabbed the bat, because you had mentioned... She did say she was a country girl. She mentioned that she would, that, you know, that, that was, like, the first thought. So I was I like... I took oh. off my boots and got my spur out. <laughs> my spur? <laughs> my spur. Oh. Um, But then she opens the door, and there's no one there, and the, the cat's still inside, and uh, and that's kind of where that leaves us. Um, I My favorite is the Prisoner of Azkaban. So let me just get that out right here. What? Oh, the third, the yeah. third movie, and book. It's the same. It's three is three. Yeah, that's true. It's yeah, it is. It's my favorite all around. Well, I book break. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the same book and movie. Which ones you like? Uh, one of yours. Hold on, we did this on Segway. We did. One of them is is it um it's uh, now is it one of the Deathly Hallows parts? That's your favorite movie. No book. It's my, it's my Wait, Half Blood book. Prince is one of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite movie. Is and Half then Blood Prince. okay, Half Blood Prince is one of your favorite movies. And then the Deathly Hallow. No. Order of the Phoenix isn't your favorite book, is it? No, no. Deathly Hallows is definitely my okay, favorite. Okay, okay, okay. Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, but anyway, back to <laughs> back to Alyssa and her story and her cat. Um, maybe a window's open, but I don't think a cat would jump in. Just to, well, actually, maybe a cat would jump in just to scratch. Kind of sounds like cat behavior. Um. <laughs> I agree. It does sound glitch in the matrix. E. That of. well, that was something you brought up. You said um, it felt like a time loop. I said time loop. I didn't say glitch in the matrix. Like, nah, different. It's, it's all about time. So, is the cat weird? Did something let in the cat repeatedly? What are the footsteps? Is it a time loop? What are your guys' thoughts? What if she was on drugs and shrooms? <laughs> well, that she didn't include that, so there's we're not going to so, assume that. There's only so much context we can add to it, right, Terry? I mean, yeah, we can't just assume, like, oh, she's probably tripping. You know how many of our episodes that we do would just be like, ah, oh, they're probably on drugs. If we just did that. If yeah. that was our if that was our theory, it would ruin so many of these stories. Yeah. We did Pascagoula, probably drugs. Probably. And Annalise, totally on drugs. You know, it's like, <laughs> come on. She's also... What do you guys think about the time loop theory? Time loop. Because I think that... If, like, I was thinking about this. If... if the portal thing at the end of the driveway, if that was connected to the time loop. Oh, we're not there yet. Ugh. We're not there yet. All right, all right. Drugs or mental illness. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. It, I could be An actual encounter. We, like, have kind of, like... I, it's because, like... We're not, like, one of those true crime podcasts that are, like... Like, we give an effort. Like, we try to understand what's happening. We try to see if we can solve it. But it's not like we're, we're reading case files and interviewing people like a true crime <laughs> right. podcast. But I think because we lean into the entertainment side of it, I think there's some potential explanations. Like, I was just joking about it. But mental illness, yeah. drugs, substance abuse, those are things that could be brought into many of our episodes. But I think for the sake of treating it as entertainment value yeah what we do we really try and take the stories at face value it's like listener submissions it's like could you imagine if every single one we were like oh they could just be lying yeah you know? I mean, it's they told they totally could be a list could be like ha, these idiots are so gullible uh i i do kind of hope one day we do get trolled like that and then they come to our, our thing or... give me some if i am able to come to the conclusion that a ghost was spending time making ramen noodles in the middle of the night I will at least go skeptical again. Like that, I'm not above that. Um, I think it was a good idea, and the cat could have been connected more, maybe. Yeah. I are you picturing a long hair cat? No, I actually pictured um, a orange cat. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you were gonna say I'm picturing the cat from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh no, that cat's black. He's the talk, the talking cat. Yeah, Salem. I know his name. Yeah. Put his put respect on his name. I like that cat. In the in the '90s one. With the Melissa John I like Hart. the new one too. He's cool. Doesn't talk though. No, he doesn't. He's not funny. He He's makes, not a puppet. He makes meaningful gestures. <laughs> okay, that's all you can ask for from a cat. That's right. Um, the footsteps. Like, there's so many different elements to this story. I liked what you said during the episode. I liked that a lot. Where the parents, they're coming home. Yeah. It was just like it just goes in the time loop. Yeah. Um, 
I picture a cat that's able to open the door one way but not the <laughs> other. And then just is like, oh, I didn't want to go outside. Honestly, you doing that is good because just because someone might suffer from an illness doesn't negate their potential parental experience. That's totally true. There's a great story on Scared to Death. I think it was a listener encounter. No. I think it was a listener. But it was about this lady from Scandinavia that suffered from schizophrenia. And she would paint the thing she saw. Oh, but it came to be that because of the way she painted it, they were actually there or something. I forget mm-hmm. the actual story. It was really good. But it, it talked about how she actually suffered from this disease, but she was actually still seeing things. I wish I could tell it better. <laughs> could you guys imagine if we put an episode out and the topic was, are ghosts due to mental illness? Oh, God. And imagine if I went believable on that. Oof. Oh, bro. <laughs> that would be would... the last episode. I don't know if I put that We'd out. We'd have to do Hat Man Part 2 and then do that episode and then just call it like, all right, yeah. it's, that's our mic drop. <laughs> that's Tyler quitting, actually. <laughs> that's me putting in my my zero weeks. <laughs> well, it'd be one week. Cause, well, it'd be like my four days Yeah, based on how we do it. No, okay. I don't think we'd ever do anything like that, though. When I'm not against the discussion. Um, I'm not I just either. Wor- I wouldn't go believable, but I'm not against the discussion. Would I would actually like to see what research they have about it. I would come to Ohio and punch you. <laughs> yes. But then you'd have to come to Ohio, so who's the real loser here? Exactly. Um, I feel I opened the gates here, and I'm sorry. No, don't be no, sorry. You're good. Uh, um, you think sometimes student mental illness or drugs? Yeah, well, it's, 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 um, it's, it's gray areas, right? Like, if one person has ever seen a real ghost, then it's not all mental illness. Yeah. But, you know, if one person had a, a vision or hallucination due to drugs and saw something creepy, it's not all ghosts. Like, it's – there's a balance. Mm-hmm. We just try and keep it on the on the one end for the entertainment value. Unless, like – unless in the context of the listener submission, you know, they tell us that I was on really heavy drugs while this encounter happened. It's like, all right, well, then, like, you didn't have to tell us that. You swayed it a little bit. But anyway, let's move on to the second encounter that yeah. Alyssa had. So she's a little bit older now. Mm-hmm. She's riding her bicycle. I, I guess, you know, I didn't even say this. I mean, you should have listened to the episode if you're here. Um, but this is taking place in, in Ohio is sad. Um, this is take place in Hawaii. It's Volcano Hawaii. There's a forest nearby. It's isolated, starry nights, trees, misty, foggy. In Hawaii. The nearest neighbor is a whale that lives. Are there, there's whales. No. What's, what, um, what animals, what animals are on Hawaii? On Hawaii? Yeah. Are there's, there animals there? Lots of chickens. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's whales in the ocean. There's dolphins in the ocean. Yeah. Okay. So there's and her nearest neighbor is a half mile away, and it's a dolphin. Um, okay. But she's she's riding her. I'm not an Ohio State fan. You can talk all your shit. Oh yeah. Browns, Cavs, and Guardians will break my heart. Ohio State, the one good team from Ohio, could care less about. Oh, uh, we don't really like college football. That's no, not a thing I, here. Yeah, I could care less. We're we're from Akron. Our team soccer. Go Zips. Go Zips. Um. Now, do I did I want them to beat Michigan like for my I was, dad? So I was like, yeah, like, I hope that they, they win. should probably win. But I have no emotional. My heart, listen. If I if I it felt like I was watching a Browns game, my heart cannot take another team and have like disappointment. I can't do it. Um, but anyway, so she's isolated, middle of nowhere, Hawaii, riding her bicycle. She's she's pedaling up, and she sees. This rectangle with fuzzy edges, it's just this blackness, this void, like this bubble. What's well, not a bubble? This rectangle, rectangle, hazy, and it's like perfectly the driveway. Like if this is the driveway, it like perfectly takes up the whole driveway. It encompasses. And it makes her completely eat it. <laughs> yeah. And then when she looks up, it's gone. Yeah. Um, very trippy. And it plays into the time loop thing. Because if you think about, like, I know I, I, if anybody has any comments on the Langoliers, this is the perfect time to mention it. There was, there was a whole clip, just <laughs> you, you discussing Langoliers. And and it ends with you going, what is it? And, uh, the little girl? The little girl? I listened to that, like, <laughs> 20 times, dude. I just, I laughed every time. Perfect. <laughs> um, but it's the idea of, like, okay, so you heard the first encounter. If you believe that could be a time thing, then this black rectangle could be that gateway if you bought into that if that is not what you're buying into i have other than other than the idea that it could be a time loop or like a glitch of the matrix i have no other idea what that black void could represent so if anybody has any theories or ideas on that i am all ears 
Wasn't there an episode y'all did? Yeah, it was a the, while back. That was the, the same thing, but like a rough house. and mirage. Yeah, the the rough and mirage was a house, but it wasn't like a black void. Right. It, it literally was like you see a house, and then you and know. then it's like you're in Canva, and you take the transparency thing, and you go all the way down to zero. Like it, it just, it literally just disappears. Oh no! Quick question. This is the worst question I've ever asked. I don't know. Was wait, is this the same person that says they might have opened up? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. A uh. <laughs> no, that was Terry, I think. No, was it? Hold up. I don't know. What makes you guys, what makes you guys believe a story over another? Um, well, if we're talking like not like listener encounters, we're talking like a normal story, like where <laughs> we do research on it. Typically, if there's more encounters, if there's a lot of separate encounters, that makes me believe a story more. Um, if there's a lot of evidence. And I don't mean just, like, just evidence. I mean, like, evidence that it's hard to explain away. Or there's not really good explanation for it. That makes me really believe in something. Um, what about you, Tyler? I have biases. Yeah, no, I know. We both do. Yeah, like, I te- I, like if it's a ghost story, um, and it doesn't, like, seem hyper unrealistic <laughs> uh, or too theatrical, I typically believe it. I believe most alien encounters or sightings as long as it's pretty much like what I I, think... I went through um, and this is I guess what I'm speaking more from listener submissions but like I got my master's in creative writing I know typically when somebody is embellishing and somebody's adding characteristics for uh, theatrical like to, to get a rise out of energy or um, emotion and things like that and and sometimes when you're reading the, the listener submissions you can see there's like a little bit of artistic quality added to it where it's like, eh. you know, but it's like sometimes they're just so blunt about what happens. I don't know. Like, uh, but that's listener submissions when it comes to like the main topics, it's kind of like, can I explain it away by a scientific theory or, you know, like even like the, but that isn't always the case, I guess, because like the the uh, right. Phoenix lights, you were talking about how it was like the dust was causing that like there could have been uh, fungus well, in the dust. Yeah, like not just because there's a science potential opportunity to explain it away doesn't mean it's the case. But also the like things that make sense to us, like the Paris catacombs, there wasn't a lot of great evidence there. Yeah. But also, there's so many bodies that were moved there. It also it kind of makes sense that it would be at least somewhat haunted. My problem with... Okay, so are you the same as me? Aliens are more believable than cryptids, and cryptids are more believable than ghosts. Yes and no. I think aliens are more believable than cryptids because the universe is just massive. Like, so much more massive than Earth. I think ghosts are more explainable or believable than cryptids because we can't explain a ghost where a cryptid kind of obeys our rules for the most part, since it's like a physical entity from here or created here or something like that. Um, and sometimes like, I know Bigfoot's the best example of this, but it's like, sometimes the world feels so large when you walk outside and you look up or you're in the forest, but sometimes it feels like it's really small. And it's like, how has nobody found more sightings of some of these cryptids? Yeah. Unless they're that's, interdimensional. That's true. That's why. And I believe in, in certain cryptids, obviously if, if you know, you've listened. I mean, there's that theory that Bigfoot berries are dead. Yeah. But also there'd be other evidence like footprints and droppings and fur there was another person that, um, if it goes, you know, the ramen, the ramen noodle <laughs> rule. Um, uh, answer me this, though. Why can I believe in aliens and abduction? But that's not a you question, Terry. Really? Well, because I think that you can make a case. I think some of the most scientific people in the world probably can believe in aliens because I think... Anything can lead into science and away from, like, the paranormal or supernatural. But I think aliens uniquely lend themselves more to that just because it's just you look up at the stars. If you believe in stars, if you believe in planets and you believe in suns and solar systems and you look up at the sky and you think about odds, I think it's safe to say that there's other life out there. There's a good chance there's other life out there. Now, whether or not they've come to our Earth. You know, it is what it is. But I think that I think it's just easier to buy into rather than the idea of a ghost. Um, aliens are most likely to be out there somewhere, but ghosts aren't as certain. I'm a firm believer in supernatural, ghost demon spirits. Um, I believe in sex demons. <laughs> I go case by case as well. I don't believe in fairies. 
Some things just sound ridiculous, and I know that's cultural bias. I know and understand and do believe that I have cultural bias, and I'm not uh, proud of that, but I also recognize that. Because when we were talking about gin, like, are you good? You're, feel, you're losing I a lot triggered. of... I feel triggered. I feel a lot of breathing and exhaling coming. Just, I just, the fairy thing kills me. Um, it's fine. I'll leave it at that. That's... You're going to get eaten by the fate. Have fun. <laughs> no, he's got a knife now. I do have a knife now. I should carry it with me at all times. Yeah, all right. I mean, it would have been nice if you would have made us a holster too, but I'm wondering if it's fine. Uh, can the fae eat me, please? Um, what is the most unbelievable thing to you? Like, I know fairies is kind of like an ongoing running joke with me. Mm. Just like I hate history. Um, but is there something you really don't believe in? I don't know if there's been a lot of cryptid cases I'd buy. I know it's probably surprising to hear, but... Yeah. Probably, uh, cryptids are probably my lowest. I think it's fair. I think, because I think sometimes it's okay that people come up with things for the sake of stories. Like, I love stories. Like, I go into watching a horror movie, I know it's fake, but that doesn't make me not enjoy it. That doesn't make it any less valuable in my life. Um... I don't know, and I think it's once you accept that you you don't know and you might never know, and once you come to peace with that, I think it just makes everything better. Um, and you know, every time if you go ghost hunting, like imagine if you were guaranteed to see a ghost every time you went ghost hunting, it'd get boring. You know, I went I went to um, nine years nine years of Dave Matthews Band shows waiting to hear the Stone, nine years and then on the ninth year i heard it and it made it you know what i mean like could you imagine yeah. if our okay our first time we ever went ghost hunting ever in our lives together we got an evp do you know how much that ruined us i know right we're like oh that's it you just gotta do that <laughs> and then and then we were like we're gonna keep going and then well, we haven't gotten shit since well here's the thing though just because those are our least believable i don't know about fairies for you but this is cryptids are my least believable doesn't mean i don't believe them at all like, I still absolutely question it. I'm just less likely to. I think another thing, a problem I have, um, is there's, it's so easy to miscategorize. Yeah. Like, cause you get swayed based on what you hear. Like somebody might say, I experienced a fae and this is what happened where another person's perspective, like if you, if you explain an encounter, but you don't name it. You're like, I saw this and I don't know what it is. And then you can bounce ideas. I think that's different than if you're like, I saw a Wendigo. This is what happened. And if you don't believe in Wendigo and you're biased, you might be like, that's not true. But if you if you believe in skinwalkers and someone said it was a skinwalker, you might be like, oh, yeah, that's that's terrifying. Mm -hmm. right? It was an alien. Like some people believe in aliens. Some people believe aliens are demons. And you could tell the same story, the same encounter and. But depending on what you call it, it could uh, impact if somebody believes it or not. Um, like, Charlie could... Quantity over quality, let's go. Um, Charlie could tell me a story and not name it, and I'll be like, believable. And he's like, ha, it was fairies. Yeah, right. And I'll be like, just kidding. I probably could do that to you. I, w I don't think I will, but I probably could. But that's the thing. It's like... But, but then... But no one's wrong, because if I tell you an alien encounter... Yeah. If I, and, and you don't believe in aliens and I say, oh, it was an alien encounter. You could be like, you might think that, but I think it was a demon encounter. Yeah. doesn't make either one of us wrong, but that's like the beauty of, yeah. Of the paranormal is like, or that's why like... this is, that's why this is better than true crime because <laughs> there is a truth to true crime. Like somebody did it. Yeah. We can just bullshit and there's no consequences. Yeah. Um, well also like you could like, I could read you an encounter and then at the end be like, was this a demon or was this a djinn? Yeah. And you'd be like, oh shit, I don't know. Well, that one, I would have, I wouldn't have known. But even though, but it's like, there's no right or wrong. Because even though the person that wrote the story called it a djinn, doesn't mean that they know it's, for a fact right. that that's what it, it was. Well, if it was a demon. Yeah. I mean, I, I believe at one time I saw a UFO. Was it a shooting star? Was it, uh, you know, a jet that is different technology? Maybe. 
Um, but anyway, this was a major tangent, but I There's appreciate a, that. There is one more really amazing encounter that this episode is named after. Yes, we haven't even got it? we haven't even gotten to the meat. I know people have gotten damn near beat for even mentioning skinwalkers. Wow. Yeah. Well, then you played our episode. I've almost them. got beat up by talking about Alaska. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, most people from Alaska haven't given a shit. It's just a couple. Just a couple. Um. So the final encounter that Alyssa had, it was almost like a sleep paralysis, but I don't think it was based on a small detail. But she talks about laying down and she feels this heavy pressure on her chest and she has a flashlight underneath her pillow and she's thinking about it and she hears water turn on, like a faucet turn on. And as she goes to reach for the flashlight under her pillow, she feels the pressure even heavier and then she turns the light on and the pressure goes away and she sees this woman floating and she's laughing and it's not really scary. It's not like an evil laugh, but she's wet and that's it. Yep. 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 And that is the namesake of the episode. Cause she was wet. If culture refused to talk about it, what did they experience to fear them that much? It's like how did Irish people refuse to build on their lives? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's true. Anyway, so I really liked your theory that she showed Alyssa, this is how I died. Does anybody have any thoughts on that? Are we still fair or real, Tyler? <laughs> I don't, um, I don't believe that. Like, I'm pretty certain they are, but I'm not like 100% certain. It's hard to be 100% on anything. Oh, I'm not 100%. I'm not even 100% on aliens. I know you are. But that's, I can't be. That's... I can't be. I don't think it was sleep process either. I Yeah, so the, yeah, the reason I don't think it was sleep process is because she literally was able to move. She was able to turn her head. She was able to reach under her pillow. And every reported case of sleep paralysis that I've heard, you can't move. Like, you're stuck. You are... you done so. Don't, um... Most culture time, most some kind of entity, most time. The idea of ghosts or something not exactly physical is much more scary to me. Okay, but what do y'all think about the sleep paralysis? <laughs> I constantly have sleep paralysis and never be able to move. Okay, so I. What do y'all think about the idea that she was showing Alyssa how she died? Or do you think it was two different entities? It was planted? It could still be an entity that attacked her and then another ghost. It could be the same thing that attacked her, mm -hmm. and it's just two sides, two, you know, the same coin. Um, maybe it wasn't malevolent, but wanted to be sure she had her attention. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do next time I want somebody's attention. Hold me down. Put on the, push that pressure on the chest. They come into Tyler's house. He's just like, what's up, man? Sometimes when I'm lifting, I, I have two dumbbells when I'm, I'm sitting down and doing this or laying down. And sometimes between reps, I won't put them on the ground, I'll put them on my chest. It actually feels really good. I do that. It feels good. When I do it? when I do this exercise, yes, that's, that's what I do exclusively. Yeah. Then you come down and say I'm not going to Sometimes I'll put them down, but then I have to do this like awkward like reach down and I, I know. Cuz I don't have a bar. Well, I have a bar for not that. I have a bar for uh, Well, I do when I do this exercise, it's heavier than what I can curl. Yeah. So I have to put yeah. them on my knee and like pop it up. <laughs> Just rip my arm out of its socket. This is a very prominent current theory. It doesn't explain why the ghost is holding her down, though. No. Wait, what, what What theory do we love? Ghosts are time loops. They're living how they die. Just over and over again? Which, yeah. Makes you... It makes them less intelligent, right? Because they're just a loop. Hmm. Makes it... It seems to add more value to how you die, then. Yeah. Because you want to be stuck in a loop. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Can you imagine some dark thoughts right there? Can you imagine like um, nearly had this snake just stuck in that loop? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Buckbeak. Isn't it sad? Like when you start losing actors, like I know Alan Rickman's been gone for like five years, six years now. Yeah. But like Hagrid just passed. It's was like it Gary Cole train. Yeah. It's just crazy that like. 
yeah. guarantee, like, even though you knew there was never really going to be another episode or you know, movie, episode. like a book or whatever, it's just like now it's like guaranteed, like well, that no. guy will never play a Hagrid again. But they can't like do like a cameo. <laughs> <laughs> they just take a bunch of his sound bites from other movies. <laughs> and oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the Green Ranger just died. Too. He, yeah. He actually committed uh, I don't want never mind. Never mind. So it goes around loop showing visitors how they died. That would like But I've heard about that before, so it that's interesting. I like that I like the theories. Like I think we've done we, this episode uniquely. I think we did a good job of adding context to, which normally we don't do. But I think this episode it was done very well, where we could take the encounter and come up with at least a uh, interesting and somewhat believable conclusion. Yeah. The day Robert Downey Jr. dies is the day I'm gonna lose it. <sighs> That's hopefully not for a long time. Oh my God! I just watched Black Panther two. Yeah. It was hard. It was a hard time. I like Chad Bowick a lot. Good dude. There hasn't really been a celebrity death thus far that has rocked me. This is going to sound stupid, but before I started listening to Nirvana, I didn't really realize who Kurt Cobain really was. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, I love this band. And then I started doing some research. I was like, Kurt Cobain, Kurt Cobain. Yeah. Oh no. And then it, it, it hit me, but from the past. Are you going to do an episode on Kurt Cobain? It's going to happen one day. And I'm going to talk about my crazy, stupid theories. That it was uh, David Grohl? David Grohl had a fix. I like David Grohl better than... Well, you're not going to like my theories. Kurt then. Cobain. Uh, uh, wow. I, no, that's good, because it will be on opposite sides of the We point. will be. I think... Uh, I think Kirk, I think Dave Grohl is not so innocent. Mm. I think he's... Uh, Kurt Cobain was very genuine. I'll give him that. Whoa, whoa, I'm not, I'm not accusing someone with lots of lawyers. Let's calm down there. Yeah, yeah, you gotta say allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly, Dave Grohl slaughtered. Allegedly. Kurt Cobain. Mm. That'll be a fun. That'll be a fun episode someday. Yeah. I have to do that one right before the mental illness is why people see ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Episode. I'll have to do it on the anniversary. I, well, I thought you said I thought you said I was there. No, was there? Wasn't Dave Grohl? That's true. He has because they just lost Taylor Hawkins. Y'all hear about Michael Jackson That's true. ghosts walking around his house? What? Excuse me. Was it walking forwards or backwards? <laughs> <laughs> he was. Sorry, saying, it's really bad to joke about someone that's past. <laughs> he moved walking. Thank you. That's exactly. That's funny. Yeah, I did. You Listen, see, he is a predator. It's okay. Did you see that they they made a uh, scary movie Grinch? What? There's a scary Grinch movie out. Like, really? Well, like how they did Winnie the Pooh? Oh, really? They did a horror movie with the Grinch. Is it out? It's coming out. I want to watch right? that. That sounds cool. And then uh, then they also so they're pairing this scary movie Grinch movie with this bad Santa movie. Oh. This Santa's like a badass. Oh, oh, was that Bloody Night or something like that? I would have watched that one. Hmm. Sin never apologized, but I don't know oh, the movie. Okay, so I was there. I don't remember what you're talking about. Um. Okay, so uh, a little bit longer than we normally go, but that's okay. So that is the extend discussion for yeah. the drenched, soggy senorita. The drenched, the drenched, was the drenched and dead drowned lady? What was it called? Nope, it was the drenched floating woman. Oh, okay. She was floating. Oh, I see. Wet. I would hate to... That would be a terrible way to die because I don't like being wet. At all. <laughs> I was just like, Ew. I don't. If I get caught in the life. rain, it's a bad day. Um, Send us the video of that, the Michael Jackson. That is uh, that is interesting, though. Um, it's going... Whoop. Mm. I can't do it that high. I, can't, I used to. I still can't falsetto. You got no. someone, someone in your DMs. I got a frog in... I know. I got a frog in my throat. Voice. You know what I really think it is? I think North Route killed my voice. Definitely I think I pushed true. it too hard for three years. It's probably true. But anyway, thank you everybody for hanging out with us for the last 40, 40 minutes. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Listen to the whole episode if you haven't yet. I still need to. I'm hoping I to, I'm hoping do, to do it tonight. I hope it's a good one. Um, but anyway, have a great week, and we will talk soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.